Hi, good evening. Hi. Yes, welcome to my class. Can you hear and see me clearly? Yes, I can see you and hear you clearly. That's great. Is this Toshi? Toshi? Yeah. Nice. Yes, Toshi. Nice to right. meet you today, Toshi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too, Eric. How are you doing today, Toshi-san? I'm doing perfect, thank you. Yourself? Wow. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Good to hear. Yes, that's nice. Okay, so today we're going to study daily news in this lesson, right? Yes, correct. And the title is Japan Bullet Train uh, Driver Discipline for Bathroom Break. Wow, I like this. <laughs> that's mm. nice. All right, so let's have first words and phrases, okay? Okay. All right, so let's learn some of the words that are used in the article. Uh, by the way, would you like to listen to both U.S. and U.K. or just U.S. pronunciation? Well, I'm going to go with both uh, U.S. Oh, and U.K. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's have it. Uh, let's start with the first word. Here we go. Discipline. Discipline. All right, for U.K. Discipline. Discipline. All right, it means to punish uh, someone. Please read the sample sentence. A senior army officer has been disciplined for revealing secret government plans to the media. Oh, okay, let's have the next. Operate. Operate. For UK. Operate. Operate. All right, it means to have control of something such as business, uh, department, program, etc. Please read the sentence. The cafe is owned and operated by young people. Or young couple. Couple, yes. And yeah, let's have the next. Inappropriate. 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 So UK. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. All right. It means not right or uh, suited for some purpose or situation. Not appropriate or suitable. Please read the sentence. We won't tolerate such inappropriate behavior. Exactly. Let's have the last one. Accidental. Accidental. UK. Accidental. Accidental. Alright. Uh, it's happening or existing by chance. Please read the last sentence. All our household goods are insured against accidental damage. Yes. Okay. So we're done with words and phrases. Is there any questions so far? I think I'm good, thank you. All right, so well and good. Now let's move to comprehension part. Okay, so uh, we will listen to the article, but before that, let's check the questions that you will have to answer later. All right, so let's read the questions. Number one is, um, what did Masahiro Hayatsu say about the driver's actions? Please read the second question. Uh, what are Shinkansen drivers supposed to do if they feel ill on the train? Yes, and the last question is, what did the driver of the Shinkansen say about the incident? Alright, so this will be the listening focus, okay? And okay. now, let's listen to the article. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's dive in. Here we go. Japan bullet train driver disciplined for bathroom break. A driver on one of Japan's Shinkansen bullet trains is to be disciplined after leaving his cab to go to the toilet. He had felt ill and left an unqualified conductor in the driver's seat. The train was carrying passengers and travelling at 150 kilometres per hour. The incident happened along the busy Tokaido line which connects Tokyo and Osaka. Masahiro Hayatsu, a senior official of JR Central, which operates the train, said the driver's actions had been extremely inappropriate. Japan's Shinkansen rail network connects cities around the country with trains reaching speeds of up to 320 km per hour. The bullet trains have an excellent safety record. There has been only one accidental death on the train since 1964. Wow. In 1995, a teenage boy lost his life when he tried to jump on a bullet train as its doors were closing. Shinkansen drivers who feel ill are required to report to an operations centre and hand the controls over to a qualified conductor or stop at the nearest station. 
The driver involved in the incident said that he didn't want to lose time by stopping the train at the next station. I didn't report it because it was embarrassing, he said. Alright, okay. So now let's proceed to answer the questions, okay? Okay. Alright, so I'll read this question and please say your answers out loud. So let's start with question number one. So what did Masahiro Hayatsu say about the driver's actions? Uh, okay, he said that driver's action has been extremely inappropriate. Extremely, right? So it's extremely inappropriate. Mm. Inappropriate. Alright, so number two, what are Shinkansen drivers supposed to do if they feel ill on the train? Uh, Shinkansen drivers who feel ill are required to report to an operator center and hand the controls over to a qualified conductor or stop at the ne nearest station. Oh, so stop at the nearest station. Okay, so... Alright, and the last one. So what did the driver of the Shinkansen say about the incident? Okay, the driver involved in the incident said that he didn't want to lose time by stopping the train at the next station. I didn't report it because it was embarrassing, he said. Oh, because it was embarrassing. So that was his reason. Is it a valid mm. reason? <laughs> Is it a valid reason? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's proceed to the next part, which is read out. So please read out the article. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, please start. Japan bullet train driver disciplined for bathroom break. A driver on one of Japan's Sinkans and bullet trains is to be disciplined after leaving his cab to go to the toilet. He had felt ill and left unqualified controller in the driver's seat. The train was carrying passengers and traveling at 150 km per hour. The incident happened along the busy Tokaido line, which connects Tokyo and Osaka. Masahiro Hayatsu, a senior official of JR Central, which operates the train, said the driver actions had been extremely inappropriate. Japan Shinkansen Rail Network connects cities around the country with trains reaching speeds of up to 320 km per hour. The bullet trains have an excellent safety record. There has been only one accidental death on the trains since 1964. In 1995, a teenage boy lost his life when he tried to jump on a bullet train as its doors were closing. Shinkansen drivers who feel ill are required to report to an operator center and hand the controls over to qualified conductor or stop at the nearest station. The driver involved in the incident said that he didn't want to lose time by stopping the train at the next station. I didn't report because it was embarrassing, he said. All right. Okay. Very good. You're very good in reading. Wow. <laughs> That's Thank nice. You. Uh, I'm so amazed also about this bullet train, right? Very fast. Really? Yep. We don't have such kind of train here in the Philippines. Wow. At first, I was amazed at 150 kilometers per hour, but the maximum is 320? Kilometers per hour. <laughs> it's so yeah, fast. Uh, I think Japanese bridge train is not the fastest over the world, but one of the fastest. Uh, probably the fastest one is in France. In France. Oh, really? TGB. Okay. Yeah. But this has been like uh, operating since 1964? Wow. Yes, uh, this bridge train is very useful. And oh. uh, I have a house in Nagoya City. Uh, which is uh, uh, mi in the middle of Japan. Uh, so, so this is the main station, Nagoya? Or... Nagoya, yes. Oh, so okay. Na Tokyo, Nagoya, and mm. then Osaka. So these three big cities. Mm. Uh, the biggest one is Tokyo. The mm. second one is Osaka. Osaka. The third one is Nagoya. Oh, so Nagoya is the third. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's um, amazing. It, it only takes 
an hour and a half, so I don't need to take a, uh, you know, plane. Yeah, right. no need to take a plane. This is it's very fast. It's amazing, and yeah, it's very convenient. I was also surprised that it's it's safe, right? It's safe. You can just imagine from 1964, only one uh, like accident happened. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yes, it's a uh, very, very high quality. High quality, yeah. <laughs> I really admire this. I really like this. Wow. Okay. Very nice article. I like this article. All right. So uh, let's move to the discussion part. Okay. Please answer its question freely or by using the situation given. So I'll mm -hmm. read its, uh, each question. Then you can answer freely or you can use the answer key. Okay. All right. Let's have number one. So, number one is, do you think that riding a bullet train is a safe way to travel? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, I think that uh, riding a bullet train is way safer than driving. Wow, wow. Um, I heard that, uh, is it also a bullet train uh, wherein it's like there is like under the water? Something like that? Is Under the water, I'm not sure. One of the major uh, line, uh, which connects Tokyo and Osaka, uh, there's no underwater line. There's no underwater line. line. Oh, wow, but it's amazing. <laughs> like a submarine. <laughs> Sub yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think bird trains uh, goes underwater. Okay, okay. All right, so we have a sample answer here. Yeah, we still have time to read the sample answer. Okay, Let, let's take turn in reading the sample answer. So uh, please read the first reason. I'll be reading the second reason. Please start. Okay. Yes, I. Th okay, let's see. Uh -oh. Yes, I think. Uh, I can't see that. Oh, you can. Uh, is it smaller? Yeah, in the chat box, you, you can see in the chat okay. box. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, yes, I think that uh, riding a bird train is a safe way to travel. There are two reasons. First, I think that they have an excellent safety record. Mm -hmm. For example, they have almost no accidents and many people ride them every day. Every Second, day. I think that the environment they operate is, uh, in is very safe. Very safe. For example, they don't have to worry about uh, bad drivers or heavy traffic. Yes, yes. Um, is the bullet train in Japan not so crowded? Well, uh, during COVID-19 pandemic, it is not crowded, but usually it is very crowded. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. like it's a main commute uh, oh, method see. for business persons. That's right, that's right. Those who really uh, like... Uh consider time is really gold <laughs> yeah. yes that's very true yeah me too if i'm a businessman <laughs> the wish is the bullet train <laughs> all right let's have the next question do you think that uh, there should be two qualified drivers on each bullet train hmm, how about that yes two uh yes there should be two qualified drivers on each bullet train just like uh, aircraft uh, yeah, that's right. So just, so just what, in case. Yeah, so, what would you what would you do? What if what if you know one of the guys um, exactly feels sick like this? This article. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's possible to happen, right? Emergencies. It is. Emergency. It is. Yes. That's it is. True. So um, yeah, somebody has to you know take control. Uh, and it has to be a driver of yes. the for a train because a lot of people are on the train. Yes, and, uh, yes, yes. And if it, it crashes, yeah, it will be very bad. It will be very bad, yes. Now, um, do, uh, for example, here in the Philippines, we have access what the travels, you know, from like, uh, let's say, uh, Luzon to Visaya, something like that. Uh, these three islands, big islands, Luzon, Visaya, Mindanao. Uh, we can travel by bus because the train you know, train stations are not enough. 
Yeah. So um, we usually have like two to three drivers. Oh. Yeah. So for example, if uh, one driver is tired, he can sleep, and then another driver will take over. Something like that. So they can oh. sleep. They can sleep. Okay. Is it a it, it, does it drive long distance? Yeah, like 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah, it is. So I okay. experienced that uh, 20, 26 hours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, th does the bus have a bathroom? No, actually. Um, no bathrooms, but they usually stop over. They stop uh. Uh, on restaurants. Restaurants, oh, yes. Okay. For example, they will eat breakfast, lunch, and then dinner. Sometimes snacks. So they would like stop like five times. Mm. All, right. Oh. All right. Let's have uh, the sample answer for number two. Okay. I'll I'll read the first one. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, I think that there should be two qualified drivers on each bullet train. There are two reasons. First, having two people that are experts in the field uh, makes the journey safer. For example, the other person can provide a second opinion on driving decisions, keeping driving errors to a minimum. Okay, please read the second reason. Second, I think that having two drivers is a much better plan in terms of dealing with emergencies. For example, an extra person could take control in in case the main driver has a sudden health problem. That's why I agree with that, uh, certainly, mm. yes, very true. 